Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. It's Clay Ramage back again. This time, I'm always back again, aren't I? I'm like a bad penny. I just keep coming back. Anyway, <laughs> um, today we have garage sale hauls. A garage, garage sale haul. My wife and I went uh, to some garage sales this morning and found some great stuff. The first one we did was a local one here in Hopkins, Minnesota. And let me show you some of the stuff we found there that I'm still pretty amazed at. Um, one of the boxes she had, and she had wonderful prices. I mean, 10 cents, quarter, 50 cents. Wonderful to me, of course. Um, but I got this scarf, which is made in Scotland out of lamb's wool. It's beautiful plaid. And she also had one of the hats. You would call it the beret style, but I think in Scotland it's called something else. But um, and that also, this is made out of mohair, and this also was made in Scotland. So that was pretty cool. And again, I don't know what she charged for those. Um, all total of this garage sale, we spent $32, and I bought a large shelving unit um, and a drafting table. The, two, the shelving unit was $5, the drafting table was $5. Um, we also bought a storage unit for my daughter for $5, so that's $15 off of there. So basically for $17, we got all this little stuff I'm about to show you. So that's how great the prices were. Most of the stuff was a quarter, these smaller items. But look at this troll. It is a DAM troll or a DAM troll. Um, this one says Super Senior with the white hair. Isn't that awesome? love that and then there's this one retired and loving it <laughs> those are awesome i love those we do a lot of trolls stuff in California. so that's why i picked those up cindy picked up this little purse these are great she carries like little um adapters for the phone chargers and that kind of stuff in these so that keeps them organized and i can't keep piling stuff on that because i gotta show you that let me just show you this so I don't forget, because otherwise I'd be known to forget. So at another sale we went to, this one was really kind of out of the way, and they were even the people were talking about how it was they didn't have a lot of traffic today. Although this sales in this neighborhood officially start tomorrow, it's a neighborhood sale, but not till tomorrow. But we went a day early because a lot of people start early. So I went there. So um, they had a lot of great stuff. And again, I, we bought a lot of stuff from them. I bought a file cabinet, just a small little two drawer file cabinet, bought another little shelving unit. Um, all of that's down at the, my new location already. We just drop it off there rather than hauling it all over the place. So anyway, but I picked this up. I paid $40, which you know for me is a huge amount of money for one item. Um, but this is it. This is a... Pennsylvania house tilt top tea table and Pennsylvania house is a very high-end manufacturer of furniture this is their cherry line so it's all made out of solid cherry wood it's not veneers it's solid um, it's got the brass connector so it's a tilt top so in other words the top tilts up so it takes up even less space you can put this against the wall and you can use this as a display if you want but what really sold me on the piece was when I opened the drawer. And in the drawer, of course, it's got the Pennsylvania house mark there. The original receipt for it, I thought was really funny. They paid $110 for this in 1984. Um, a candle. There's two candles in there. There are the candle snips, candle scissors. Look at this, Pennsylvania house, a monogram on the front. This is a matchbox. There's where you strike the matches. And then there's also the paperwork that goes with it. I just thought it was so complete. And of course, uh, Pennsylvania house is top quality furniture. And this is an excellent shape. Um, it obviously was in a place that it did not get much use. The top does have some slight surface scratching if you catch the light just right, but there's no deep scratches that you can see when you're looking at it. It's only if you get that angle light and you 
angled light just right. You can see a little bit of it. So anyway, so like I say, I paid 40 bucks for that. I almost want to keep it. <gasps> and I might. But it, um, otherwise I could get between two and $300 out of the table as it is. So that's why I picked it up. It was a great investment. I also picked up some of these units for my new location. This is a great little plate rack um, for that. So we'll do that. All right, so now back to the first garage sale we went to. Um, I picked up this wonderful little owl print. Paid a dollar for this. One of our larger purchases, higher dollar purchases. Um, but yeah, it's just look at those owl, aren't they darling? They're awesome. And then I also picked up this print. You guys know me, I'm a sucker for print. <laughs> this one is on the bizarre side. This is by an artist named Peter Hartwig, H-A-R-T-W-I-G. He's actually a Danish artist. This is a print, it's not an original. Um, but I just liked it. It's just strange enough. So I may frame it and sell it framed, or I may just try to sell it like that. But I paid a dollar for that. So that was a good deal. And then, paperweight, spiral paperweight, $2 for that. I've sold a lot of paperweights at the Pink Elephant. They do well for me there. Um, and these are like a plastic, not ceramic or anything, but look at these cats. They're great, they're made in Hong Kong. So I paid 10 cents. There you go, can't beat that one. And they still have their sparkly little eyes. They have rhinestone eyes and each one's a different color, which I think is fun. Picked up this little, she was an owl fan. Um, picked up this tiny little owl planter. It's made in occupied Japan. Isn't that darling? Love that. Occupied Japan stuff does not have the value it once had, um, but it's still good. And then there's this wonderful milk glass, I believe candlestick holder. It would be a big candlestick, um, but it's kind of shallow for a vase. So look at that owl, isn't that cool? And again, all of these things, I think should charge me a quarter for each one of these little guys. Can't beat that. Um, let's see, what else do I have? Oh, these, these were so fun. And these were a quarter, I can't, a quarter each. So I paid 50 cents for the set, but it's uh, salt and pepper shakers, with dogs. The, salt, the base is made out of a bone shape, but it's got wheels, so it's like a car. And then the dog sits in there like he's driving. I was just darling. I'm like, I couldn't pass it up for a quarter. I don't think they're that old, but they're just darling. Here's the other dog. It's a different color. It's yellow hood with green goggles. And the base of the car is... Oh, this one is an airplane in the shape of a fish or a boat. I'm not sure what it is. It's got three wheels on it. I think it must be a boat. Those are the most darling little salt and pepper shaker figures for 50 cents for the two of them. Yeah, awesome. I picked up another paperweight. This one, it's kind of a butterfly shape if you look at it from the top. Neither one of these are signed. I wish they were, but they're not. But they're wonderful little paper, glass paperweights. Picked up this little Mexican owl. This type of um, pottery is really what doing really well right now. So, oh, <laughs> these were a ten cents for a set of Foster Grants. These are cheaters, but they're the foldable kind that you can put in your purse and carry with you easily. She actually gave them to me free, even though they're marked ten cents. She goes, "You're buying enough. I'll give them to you for free." I was like, "Okay." Um, I picked up a beer Wang scarf. Mark to Vera, oh, right there, Vera. So I picked that one up, again, I think these were a quarter each. And I also picked up this scarf. And this one is, this is a Worthington scarf, 100% wool made in Japan. So, but I, I like the pattern on it, it's very nice. And then, and what else, oh yeah. Picked up a couple wool balls for the dryer. 
and those were 25 cents. So that's basically what we found at this first sale. A lot of great stuff. Again, for the, let's say $17 I spent on all this, you know, I'll get that back on this paperweight. I price at like 20, probably I'll put this out there $22 at the pink elephant just because of the size of it and it's in great shape. And this one probably 15 to $16 for the small one. But these kind of paperweights we sell consistently. So those are good finds along with the, I'll have to look up this one. This one just, I just like something about it. And of course the salt and pepper shaker dogs, those are awesome. And the trolls, uh, I usually price these between six and $10. These will be probably $10, $9.99. Um, the troll down at the pink elephant so and then at another sale their frames were 75 cents each or two for a dollar so i got both of these for a dollar these are vintage frames this one is made in italy but look i've never seen one that was painted red before so i'm not sure if someone painted it red to match a picture or if it was painted red originally but it does look like the red's kind of worn off so it's been on there for a long time if it isn't original and then I as you some of you know I'm branching out and trying to expand my horizons well clothing seems to be the next thing and I picked up this dress Sydney was with me too but the reason I picked up this dress is because it's mushrooms and mushrooms are we always sell everything with mushrooms on them but it's new with tags um, from the frock shop so it's a size large. I'm not sure if I'm going to list that on eBay or put it down to Pink Elephant. I got to decide. Found a pair of sunglasses, cat eyed sunglasses. Again, these I sell to Pink Elephant for five to eight dollars. So I'll probably put those at six ninety nine. Um, and then and the same one I got the dress from. I bought this book. It's a Frankenstein pop up book. And I paid 50 cents for it, but it's in great shape and original price was $30. They're listed on eBay from $25 to $30. So like that one's kind of a no brainer to pick up, even though there's a lot on eBay. I shouldn't say a lot. There were five listings when I scanned the barcode. Um, picked up this little disc washer for washing. Um, I don't know if it would be DVDs or records. I think it's, it could do either one. And originally it had fluid with it, but there's no fluid with it now. What's the book say? Still got the book in. Record cleaning fluid. So yeah, it's for cleaning records. Um, which is great. It's in, still in the original box. Of course, records are back. A lot of people are buying records. did I buy here? I don't remember. This was another set. Oh, another mushroom. It's the theme of the day. I got another mushroom for a dollar. This is a vintage one. It is crazed on the top. Um, but yeah, again, mushroom stuff sells really well. I think I'll put it on my myself. What is this? Oh, this is that alabaster lidded box still got the label genuine alabaster made in italy got a beautiful design on the top look at that isn't that cool so for a dollar i had to get it these little boxes so pretty good for me too uh oh yeah cindy picked this up and said do you know what this is i said it she said it looks like a bottle opener i said yep that's what it is it's to pop the tops off bottles um, nice vintage one with a nice green handle on it. So that'll go down to the pink elephant. People like vintage stuff like that. And then there was some stuff in the free box. I bought, I grabbed these other free box. They're actually safety glasses. They have the protective edges. Um, and the lenses are marked. You can usually tell safety glasses because they have a, a code at the top. And both of these have a code, you know, kind of to determine the hardness of them. Oh. So those are in the free box. I grabbed those. This plate was in the free box and I actually have a matching set to these with one with two 
and then also some outlet covers. So I grabbed this just because it matches the other ones. I'll clean it up and then we'll uh, put it down to pink elephant for the other ones. Oh, and there's a free box. Look at that great box. I use these when I'm shipping stuff because I'll, I'll pack fragiles, fragiles, fragile items inside other boxes. And this one already has foam, which just fell out, in there. So this is, I was like, for free? It's mine. So those are always good. And, and I am, um, yep, I ran out of everything I was going to show you. So that's good. Um, but yeah, so we had a good time shopping today. And again, there's a couple of items I'm not showing you just because they, they were larger items and are already done at the Pink Elephant. Oh, we did pick up some some bags for the pink elephant as well because you know i find you know paper bags i give them take them down to the pink elephant for us to use for people so anyway thank you guys so much for watching catch you next time